friends welcome back um, my name is Christy and this is Christy's closet today's video we're we are going over my May sales um, as you can tell from the title and let's just dive right in I don't have like a big intro for you if you followed me for the past couple of weeks you know that I am a hobby part-time reseller um, I do this for fun. Um, I enjoy what I do, thrifting, finding items, and flipping them online. Um, I sell on different platforms, Poshmark, my main bay right now, um, eBay, Depop. Um, I'm going to stop saying Vestier because except for that one sale, I haven't moved anything on Vestier so, um, till it starts responding to my listings, um, I'm going to probably stop saying Vestier here. So let's dive right into the May sales. I'm going to be looking at my computer. Um, my apologies <laughs> if I don't have any, like there's no eye contact with you guys, but I'm looking here. This is where all the information is and I want to give you guys accurate information. Okay. A couple of things. Um, I'm going to tell you what they sold for. If you don't know, Poshmark takes 20%. I like to say eBay takes even close to 20% by the time you're done with all the fees um, that they have. So let's just be fair and say 20%. If I have a Depop sale, I think Depop is 15%. Um, so yeah, so I'm just going to tell you what the price sold for um, and then and I'll give you my total at the end. All right, let's start. All right, first sale, um, and um, there'll be a clip either on this side or that side, wherever Hubs is able to post it, of the item that sold. So first item that sold in the month of May, we're going to start with my Poshmark sales. Uh, these are the Doc Martens Black George Westfield Leather Mule Sandals. These were a size 7 in men's. Um, I listed these. Oh, I listed them May 1st and they sold May 1st. Sold for my full asking price of $35. Next up is these Free People, is this Free People East Hampton bucket bag. Um, I used this one summer and then, yeah, I was over it. So, um, I sold that on Poshmark. This had to have been an offer from, um, the buyer is sold for $23. Next up, this was um, from my closet, this Reebok Classic Leather Ripple Sneakers. It was like um, this grayish, it was like cream. I don't know why I have gray, but it was like this cream, very small amount of gray, orange sneaker. I just didn't like how it looked on my um, foot. So I was happy to sell that. That was an offer for $25. Next up is the Zara, this Zara Women's Frilled Black Bell Sleeve Blazer Jacket. That was a mouthful. Um, that one I sold for, um, this was also an offer I received. I sold that for $29. Um, I had a, I listed it as March 10th, it sold May 3rd. So a little over 45 days, right? Um, that sold for $29 on Poshmark. Next up was this uh, beautiful Eliza J Floral Crepe De Sheen Midi Dress. Uh, this was new with tags, size 4. This sold um, from an offer. This sold for $30. Um, next up, I had these Brooks Running Sneakers Launch. Uh, purple lace-up, size 8. This sold for $29 on Poshmark. First time selling Judy Blue. Uh, Judy Blue Women's Dark Bleach Splash Boyfriend Jeans. Um, this was a size 30. I received an offer for $20. Because it was my first time selling Judy Blue, I just took the offer. Also, I didn't think it was pretty stylish, the one I picked up. Um, it wasn't like straight leg or anything like that. And I don't know anything about Judy Blue, so I was happy to let that go um, for $20. How long did that take to sell? I don't think it took any time either. So I will pick up Judy Blue again. The one, I came across one while I was thrifting this weekend, but it was skinny jeans. And I was like, are Judy Blue not stylish? Like, I don't know what the hype is around them. Maybe someone could tell me, but I left it. I was like, these are skinny. And I thought skinny jeans were out. Um, 
Oh, these sold fast. Okay. I uh, listed them May 2nd and um, that sold May 5th. Next up is this Aloe Yoga Illuminate Lace Print Sports Bra. Took an offer for $20. Um, I was happy to let that go. It was a size small. This one. Um, next up is this Future Collective Bomber Jacket. Um, this was the Future Collective, the first bout of Future Collective. Um, this is the one that was a collaboration with Kalana Barfield. I pretty much, I think I bought the whole collection and I just bought it to have because it was new and you know, so I wore this bomber maybe once or twice and I love the color red, but this was too much for me. So I sold it for $35. All right. Future Collective Bomber Jacket. Um, this is a jacket that was part of Target's new collection, the Future Collective. Um, and their first designer was Kalana Barfield Brown. Um, I was gonna, I thought I was gonna like the jacket. I don't know if I needed to size up. It was a size large, but I was, it just didn't fit me the way I wanted it to sit, fit me. So I sold that for $35 on Poshmark. That was my full asking price. Um, next up is this Halara, uh, tennis skirt. I've had this skirt for a while. You know how you hear that you should like pick up tennis and golf items? I think that's how I ended up with this skirt. Yeah, because how long did I have this? Uh, okay, so I listed it October 23rd, 2022. Of course, that's like the end of no one's golfing. Uh, no. Um, season, uh, it was new with tags, but I don't think Halara is a brand well known. It's probably like something that you could probably get on Amazon. I don't know. Um, but I was happy to take an offer. I was happy to sell it and I took an offer of $17. Next up is this, um, the drop is an Amazon collection that they have with fashion influencers or any type of like social media influencers. They're able to do different um, collections through Amazon and it's called the drop. So this one is by Karen Britchick. If you don't know who Karen Britchick is, uh, I think she's an amazing fashion influencer. Follow her online. She's Karen Britchick, I think everywhere. Anyway, she, I think this was like, is this her second drop? Oh, it's either her second or third drop. She did an amazing drop and it was like pants. And a lot of these drops are dresses, wrap dresses, like a little blazer, a little jacket. Hers were pants and I bought every pants, every, every pants. So I bought every color, um, but I was happy to let somebody go. I think my black ones, like you'll see the picture of it. It's like a cargo um, pants and my black ones seem to come up short so I didn't. Mm -mm -mm. Then I thought I was gonna wear these yellow ones um, but I was only wearing it one way and that was like this cream sweater thing I had. So I was like, okay, I'm not wearing this multiple ways. Let me get rid of this one. So right now I only have um, like this white cream cargo pant one. I like it right now. I'll probably sell that one too. But anyway, so I sold it for $25. Um, next up is, uh, these sandals that I had maybe, I want to say like three, four years ago, these Mia Luna wedge platform sandals, um, these sold for $35. So that was my full asking price. If you don't know my closet, I tend to list everything one price, $35. Um, some I will take offers for others. I'm dead set. Like that's all. I'm going to sell it for $35. So um, this one sold for full asking price of $35. It's a great sandal. It's just I've had it for a while and didn't need it anymore. So I was happy to let that go. Next up are these Fly London. Remember Fly London? Fly London uh, Yappy Black Leather Lace Up Wedge Sandals. These are size seven and a half. Uh, sold for my full asking price of $35. I don't know how Fly Londons are doing now. So... I didn't mind selling it for $35. This one, my next item I thought was going to sell fast. Um, it didn't take a long time to sell, but I was like, what? Um, and I took an offer and I really didn't want to take an offer, but I kept getting, I was going to say, I was going to say I keep getting low, low ball offers on this, but I understand that I price my stuff pretty low. So I can't get mad when I get low ball offers. That's just my attitude. I'm like, people are going to try 
even to get even more off so it's up to me to say no but anyway it was these keen men's clear water cnx lightweight sandal but this was an excellent excellent condition um i probably could have waited out a little bit longer i wonder if i had like some zero dollar days and i was okay with it but sold it for thirty dollars that was an offer next up my i am not picking up prana i don't do well with prana Prana has cute stuff, but I don't do well with Prana. And I always pick it up because I will hear others sell Prana and do well with it. And so I'm like, oh, let me give it a try. This is my last time. This dress, and I don't think it took too long. So I just was like, it's such a cute dress. Why isn't it selling? Um, all right. I, in all fairness, I did list it January 19th. But it's a cute dress. It's warm somewhere. It had like a built-in bra. It was. It's just... It, to me, it was one of the Prana dresses that I thought was cute. Anyway, I received an order, offer for $25. Um, so, yeah. Next up, this sold fast. This is a Love Send Open Stitch Metallic Rose Gold Cover-Up Dress. It was, like, all distressed and, like, like that pull-apart type look. Like, it was hanging by a thread. But that's the style. That was how it was made. So, it's definitely a cover-up metallic beautiful i received an offer for 25 dollars. love sin isn't anything big i think you can get it i don't even know where it, where it's sold at um probably easy pickings or rainbow if you guys know so anyway i sold that for 25 dollars. um i sold these rothy's women the flat deep ocean these were a small size size five so i sold it for my full asking price of 35 dollars Next up, I had these Vessi Cityscape Pink Classic Sneakers, size 9. I thought these were going to sell. I want to say my comp said these sell for like $70, but I could be wrong. First time picking up Vessi, I received an offer for $25. I just let it go. Uh, it's weekday corduroy orange overall mini dress. Sold that for $25. I thought this dress was adorable. But I thought I would sell it this coming fall. So... An offer came through. I was like, all right, let me sell it. This one, um, next up is this Free People um, Imogene Sarong skirt. It was a size 8. This was like, this skirt was somewhere in my um, inventory. I think I came across it, realized I never listed it, sold it for $20. This Athleta workout capri heathered purple knee length leggings um received an offer for 22 dollars. was happy to let that go i have so much athleta in my closet i am not picking up athleta anymore so i was adore that one next up were these todd's driving loafer leather tassel size nine uh i couldn't leave these behind because one they're todd's two they were very ugly <laughs> they were really ugly so i was like look these might sit for a while but someone took it someone sent me an offer for 33 dollars, and i was like yes ma'am you can have it um uh i don't always pick up dansko but this one um this dansko color burst claws i like the the print on them so that's why i picked that up um so at least for 33 dollars next up it is uh this H and M girl sequin tool flutter sleeve dress. This dress is so adorable. It's my daughter's kindergarten graduation dress. Um, a size six X. Sold it for um twenty dollars on Poshmark. So that definitely was an offer. Next up was this Abercrombie Curve Love '90s Ultra High Rise Straight uh, um jeans. I don't know if it was new with tech. I mean, I could look it up, but I just don't want to lose my place. Let me see. I don't know if that was new with tags. Um is size 31 so it was a good size i received an offer for 22 dollars, and i was happy to take it this was a shocker so these chaco cloud sandal size 8 um i only sold these for 20 dollars. i had this listed on ebay took it off relisted it many times i don't know what the heck is going on with ebay no let me put my phone on because i don't want to talk about ebay i don't know what's going on with ebay i am I do not want to put my eggs in one basket. Like, I do not only want to sell on Poshmark. 
But like I said, this is a hobby for me. So I need to do what makes sense with my time and listing on eBay and not making sales to me is not worth it. I even called eBay this past week and I was like, what is going on with my account? This is the worst I've ever done. I've been reselling for the past six years. And I don't think it's inventory because I sell daily on Poshmark. So, and I used to sell daily on eBay, not daily on eBay, but I used to make sales on eBay. Something definitely changed. And if you've watched videos, I thought by now it would fix itself. I feel like from the time they changed that whole shipping thing with international shipping, where isn't it like by default you are doing international shipping? I don't know what it is, but whatever they changed from that point, I it is hard for me to make sales on eBay. I don't bother sending offers anymore because that doesn't do anything. Um, my last resort, I said I was going to go back to running sales, but I offer like free shipping and free returns. So I'm like, why would I do that? So I don't know if I want to offer a sale on top of that. So something would have to give. Anyway, I called eBay. The girl looked at my account. She was like, there's absolutely nothing wrong with your account. There are no issues with your account. She's like, maybe it's inventory. I said, lady, it is not inventory. I have Patagonia, Doc Martens, and I'm selling daily on other platforms. That is not what it is. Like, there's like no one seeing my account. That's how I feel. Like, I do promoted listings. I do all that stuff. There should be no reason I don't have, like, you know how you can go on eBay and look at your click through rate or something like that. That has dipped a lot. But hey, if y'all don't want to make money off of me, no problem. I'll go somewhere else. So I just know how Poshmark is, right? Like Poshmark will go through things and then you'll lose sales. And not that eBay is going to pull me out, but like, I would feel like, oh, you're dependent on this, this um, platform. So anyway, that's my little spiel. Anyway, I thought these chocolates were going to sell fast. They didn't sell fast enough for my liking. Um, and I wasn't even getting offers. Like, if I was at least getting offers, I know that it's doing okay. So, but I sold those for $20. I know. Like, a year ago, I would have never sold chocolates for $20. But I did with that. This I was surprised. Tuck. I'm going to say it's Tuck. T-U-K. chick. Black Leopard Kitty Cat Face Leather Mary Janes. I remember in my haul when I was showing it to you guys, I was like, this is why you should do comps because like, what is this? Like, I know people like, I don't know the name for it, but you know, like people like like that, what's the term for it? Like when you have like different motifs and stuff on your shoes and your clothing, like people like that stuff. So I thought this was cute because it had the little cat face on it. But I think when I looked it up at home, I realized it wasn't what I thought it was going to be. Anyway, these sold from an offer, $30. I think the day I listed it, I received an offer. So I was like, I must have priced it right or something. But I was happy to let it go because I thought it was a bad pickup to begin with. Um, I sold, Next up, I sold these Levi's Premium Wedgie Straight Fit Jeans. Can you believe this is my first time finding wedgie jeans? I mean, that it actually says wedgie on it. I don't think I've ever found them in the wild. So um, I received an offer for $29. I was happy to let that go. Free people, mixed emotions, flowy printed romper. These were new with tags. I pretty much take most offers on free people because it's flooded. The market is flooded. So that's just how I feel about it. Uh, this sold for $28. This All Saints um wool blazer i thought it was a little dated but i wasn't leaving all saints behind it's 100 percent wool i received an offer for 20 dollars, and i was happy to take it i wanted a little bit more for this jacket but hmm. i don't think um uh, i was keeping the okay i would i would have declined offers on this jacket if this jacket fit me I'm not gonna lie because then I would be like oh no I'm gonna wear it before I sell it to you like that type of thing but it didn't look right on me so whatever it was BB Dakota which is sold at your Marshalls right uh, I received an offer for $28 I was happy to take it and I don't yeah it's not new it wasn't new with tags this anthropology three bird nest simply comfort jumpsuit uh gray romper thing sold for $22 um it was really cute it was cute 
Next up is Alexia Admore Crochet Floral Green Kimona Maxi Beach Cover Up. This sold for $31. So that's an offer to likers. Like I, I use offer to likers and I can tell the difference which one's offer to likers, whatever. Anyway, this was an offer to liker that went out to someone and they accepted. So that sold for $31. I sold these Rothy's flat and navy size seven uh, for twenty dollars. Um, I don't really like the wear on these Rothy's. I think that's why I sold it for. I, there must have been a reason why I sold it low. I think that's what it was. There was one pair of Rothy's I got and I was like, oh, I should have left it behind. And I think that was that one. Um, so yeah, so I took an offer for twenty dollars. This is a donation that I received. This Ann Taylor blue floral line crepe. Uh, maxi dress it was a size large but it was size large petite um but it was still be it was gorgeous and i think my mother-in-law gave me this dress i feel like my mother-in-law gave me this but this sold for full my full asking price of 35 dollars next up this dress was so beautiful so many likes on depop it had likes on ebay even though nothing was on ebay i would uh take it down relist it be the, like immediate likes but no one was pulling the trigger on it finally i got an offer for 25 dollars. what i will say is one i didn't have the exact name for this dress and two i think putting that blue dress on the black mannequin it didn't show how much the dress popped like it was a beautiful blue and every time i kept saying i was gonna re like take the pictures over i just didn't bother like i'm the laziest reseller like i'm like i'm not retaking pictures I was gonna take an offer on it. So that's what I did with this one. Uh, next up were these Free People Loving Good Vibrations White De Stress Shorts. Um, are you trying to shop for Free People Loving Good Vibrations White De Stress Shorts? No, Alexa. Alexa, off. Knowing hubs, he's gonna keep that in this video. <laughs> um, these sold for $31. These are some shorts that showed up in inventory as well. I don't know what I was looking for something else and this came up, so. Um, I quickly listed it and it sold for $31. I've sold a couple of these shorts, so I wanna say, this is part of my liquidation. This might have been part of a liquidation from like two years ago. I was surprised this sold not really but this is Steve Madden Marla Co uh, Cognac leather oh my god Steve Madden Marla Cognac leather penny loafers these are little platform loafers they were so adorable I loved them sold for $35 my full asking price size 9 why I'm shocked because Steve Madden and like you can get Steve Madden anywhere you can get this anywhere but you know, remember, buyers are purchasing this, so they're paying your full asking price plus shipping because I don't offer shipping discounts, unless it's offered to Lakers, um, and tax. So walking away, it might be 45 right? Close to 50 that $45, $47 these people might be spending on shoes that you can get. Now, true, they might have coupons, credits, all of that, but still. Steve Madden, you can get that anywhere. Um, next up, this was from my closet, Gap, the Big Shirt Cotton Button Up, size medium. Um, it's like an oversized, perfect cotton shirt. I should have gotten a larger size, so I was happy to let this go. This sold through Offer to Lakers, $31. It's Free People Fall in Love Green Lace Inset T-shirt. I was so happy for it. This to sell is one of my oldest items on here, and it's not a cute shirt, not gonna lie. Uh, sold for $20 on Poshmark. It's Lily Pulitzer Delisa Coral Peach Beaded Linen Blend Coastal Dreams Dress. Size small. Sold for an offer I received of $25. Satan Sophia Sunset Maxi Dress. Um, this is a cute dress. Cute. But I think Satan Sophia is a UK brand. I don't know how many of us know it out here. Um, it was a size 16 and I received an offer for $27. Happy to take it. This, I think, is going into Memorial Day weekend. Yes, it is. So from that Thursday to that Monday, I was selling, like, I was selling items. That's true. But I also was selling, like, very old items. Like, 
in my inventory. So I was, I was love the weekend was doing really great. So this one right here, this Robin Pacone, Ava Overshoulder, Ava Bikini. I'm telling you, I have had this. Let me look it up. My inventory is through Vendu. They didn't sponsor this video, just so you guys know. I I listed this March 12th, 2021. It just sold. <laughs> it was new with tags. It was like this two-piece set. I cannot sell this. I, I would get likes. But nobody would budge. I uh, received an offer. No, I sent an offer $31 and someone accepted it. So the Sorrel Sorrel? Is it Sorrel or Sorrel? Sorrel. Okay, if you're West Indian, we have a drink called Sorrel. And I think that's why every time I see it, I think of Sorrel. That's not how you spell Sorrel. But anyway, Sorrel Ella slip on black 10 loafer shoes. Uh, this sold through Offer to Likers, $31. This was size 10. It was Future Collective Long Sleeve Button Down Shirt. Um, also, same thing. I thought this was going to be like an oversized white shirt. Didn't fit that great. Um, this is from that Kalana Barfield Collections. Um, so that's from my closet. Uh, that sold through Offer to Likers, uh, $31. This is Anthropology Canvas Pants. Button buckle side adjusters. Um, I picked that up in one of my recent hauls. It was a size 27. This sold for $25. J. Crew cargo short. Um, I was gonna keep this for myself. And I kept going back and forth with it. And then I listed it and I received an offer for $29 and I let it go. Uh, it was size 10, beautiful shorts. This Zara long halter neck dress. Um, this is mine. I think this was mine. Uh, this sold for twenty dollars. This Sandro wrap dress, um, size ten. This has been in my closet for a while. Now I know the picture you're seeing is pink, but the dress was actually purple. But the only stock photo I could find was the pink one. Uh, size ten. This sold for my full asking price of thirty five dollars. I sold the bundle. La la la. Um. So. It was a bundle and the reason I let it go okay it was a bundle they sent me an offer for $50 I accept it I don't do bundle offers on Poshmark but um, the reason I was happy to let this go was they're in that that little I don't know how we're gonna show it up here but the gray jumpsuit the mr. Noah vintage like gray jumpsuit it had like spandex on it or whatever she gave me five stars too I'm happy she liked it I, that was iffy like that's a vintage item I didn't know if everybody was gonna get it I thought it was so cute um so I was happy to just like throw that in with the bundle because I thought it, I might have made a mistake picking that up just female is sold through anthropology it's a great brand that dress is beautiful so in my head the $50 that sold really sold for that dress and I was just giving away that vintage jumpsuit because I might have picked that up for three dollars. That that's yeah, it wasn't anything. I had another bundle sale. And what I love about this bundle sale, you know what? Let me take another. Sorry you guys, I'm screenshotting this because I don't think I have a picture from my husband to throw up of this bundle sale. Four items. Um, the person sent me an offer of $100. I was happy to let that go because half of the items in this bundle, yeah, it was only, yeah, all of them are items like no one's really, I didn't get much likes on it. Like, isn't Eloquii now sold through um, Walmart? Like, Mac Studio sold at Marshall's, Ally and Jay is at Marshall's, Leith is at, like, Nordstrom. So, it wasn't anything that I was, that I needed to, like, fight four or so yeah it was a hundred dollars took it sold it um nothing special there to talk about <laughs> first time selling this so this is a boutique brand vitamin um i said in my haul that i don't know anything about this brand um but you could tell the items were well made and the crazy thing i'm kicking myself there were three vitamin jackets and i was like i don't know anything about it i'm not picking up all three so i just picked up one and 
I received an offer for $20 and I know I could have got more, but there weren't a lot of comps of anybody selling anything on vitamin on Poshmark. And since eBay is dead for me, I'm not taking that risk. So yeah, I sold it for $20. This free people green Dana knit two piece set, um, size small, this sold through offer to likers, $31. So Alexa add more crochet floral black kimono maxi beach cover up. So I had a green one and a black one. The black one sold through an offer for $19. I was happy to let that go because it didn't get much light. And last but not least for my Poshmark. I love this dress. I thought this dress was beautiful. It was new with tags, size extra large. This is why you guys got to check my closet out. Universal standard with J. Crew. And I sold it for my full asking price of $35. I know, I could have probably sold it for more, but that's not what I'm here to do. So, that you guys are my Poshmark sales. So now let's go to eBay. Womp, womp, womp. And let me not act like that. There were still sales. And I sold you. Yeah. All right. Um... Is it in any particular order? Let me just go to the first one. Okay, first one that sold was this Duluth Trading Men's Souped Up Short Sleeve Crew Sweatshirt. I sold that through an offer that I received. Like I said, I was just trying to move stuff on eBay. Someone sent me an offer for $15. They pay shipping. None of these items here are free shipping. The buyer paid for this. So $15, I was like, sure, why not? Um, next up uh, were these Athletic Trekkie North Short Cognac size eight um shorts those sold for 35 dollars buyer paid shipping this carl lagerfield uh, classic tweed multicolor size 16 dress i so happy to get that out of my closet that sold for 30 dollars on ebay buyer paid shipping this happy nature so happy nature is happy by nature is um an old kate hudson brand that I believe was sold through New York and Company now. In my head, it was like her own thing, but I th think it was sold through New York and Company. So that dress sold for $35. And that person, that seller was stalking me because like, I don't know, she kept asking questions. I don't remember what the questions were, but there were a lot of questions which I didn't mind answering, but it was like, you should have seen it. I was just like, no, 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 no. I want to say it was about eight questions. And yes, I did answer all eight. But then I was like, she's not going to buy it. But she purchased it. So $35 plus shipping. This John Fluvog men's pure, purest mule sandal size nine. I felt like there was a lot of wear on this shoe. Um, but I'm not leaving John Fluvog behind ever. So I picked it up anyway. It sold for $40. Buyer paid shipping. Um, and they left me a note. Thanks. You're welcome and okay oh well, all right look at me complain but i did have a big so this free people we the free mark slouchy cargo jeans size 26 i don't remember if it's new with tags and i would have to like hit the button to see but anyway these were so cool i wish they were in my size they're a size 26 they're like that baggy cargo what's in right now you guys I had it listed for $35. I was not taking offers. I was not taking offers in my closet for it. You buy it because this is a steal, right? Blogger favorite, everything. People kept sending me offers. I was like, all right. And I would counter 35, counter 35. You're not getting a shipping discount, nothing. 35, 35. eBay, someone bought it for $79.99 and the buyer paid shipping. I don't know why. Sometimes people just don't know when it's a good sale. Good deal. Um, I know, but I know it's like resellers trying to, you know, you get it and then you need to flip it. So I understand you don't want to pay a lot for it, but I don't know. So I'm happy it went to someone who probably wants to wear it and you know, whatever. Um last for eBay is this Vineyard Vines. Um, shoulder eyelet blue dress. I thought this was going to sell on Poshmark. Um, but I sold on eBay $35 and the buyer paid shipping. So those are my Poshmark sales and my eBay sales. Let's try to see, did I have anybody else? Oh, I had one sale on Depop. 
Wait. What is on Z Pop sale? Oh, this like Zara little smocked tie dye dress. I did take a picture of it. Size extra small, weight absolutely nothing. And somebody sent me an offer of fifteen dollars, and I was like, yes. I don't even know why I picked that up. So yes, you can have it. Um. So look at that. The number of sales I had for the month of May was sixty six. Um. My total sales amount, drum roll, dun, 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 uh, was $1,952.68. I was just, just like a couple of dollars short away from, you know, I like to clear at least two grand each month. But I also feel like I'm missing a sale because there are times when I'm rushing out to um, get to the post office that I don't um, put it in like today. I was rushing, so I have like five sales I need to put in to my spreadsheet. But if I forget to put in a spreadsheet, that's it. But, or maybe not. Maybe that's just what I sold. But in my head, I feel like, oh, I feel like I'm missing a sale. Um, I always like to see how many of the sales were from my own closet. So, like I said, it was the altogether 66 sales. 15 of them were from my closet. So, people shop your closet. People are buying it. Um... 15 sales were from my own closet and six were from like donation from like family members or friends. So yeah. All right, guys, that is my May sales. I don't know when this is going up because I am filming this the day before Father's Day and Hubs does deserve a day off. So I'm not going to pressure him to put it up tomorrow, but if it's up tomorrow, thank you, thank you, thank you. Everybody say happy Father's Day if it's up tomorrow. Um, other than that, I will see you in the next video, which is probably going to be a haul. Um, so yeah. Bye guys.